Kuna chifu kwa mzanga uyu Kwa mena anabwe na ku Zimbabwe Anaka mba kuti Ae mdara Mifu na kutina uobwele ku Malawi Atai Ziko umo ni za buwela So na buwela Kwa machi Chuncha mene The honor Is the happiness in your faces Chakuti Kwa manaka mba wani za buwela Kwa two days, three days Nati kwa buru wanga uwe Kwa sini nga kare kwa week Right activists and opposition group in Zimbabwe say President Emerson Mnanga was signing into law a so-called patriotic bill is a grave attack on fundamental freedoms and rights. The new law authorizes harsh penalties, including the death penalty for anyone found guilty of willfully damaging the sovereignty and national interest of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe's main opposition party and human rights groups are calling Munangagwa to repeal the bill he signed into law last Friday. We condemn their signing into law of the unconstitutional patriotic bill which will criminalize free speech and freedom of association which are protected under our constitution said Fadzai Mahele spokesman for citizens coalition for change the introduction of this repressive legislation confirms beyond any doubt that Ms. that Mr. Munangagwa is worse than Robert e. Mugari and Zimbabwe has become a full brown dictatorship in an outspot of Tialnam. Mahele called on Zimbabweans to, as he put it, vote decisively for change in the August 23rd general election. Obati Masa Laule is a spokesman for another rights group the crisis coalition of Zimbabwe. His group says the new law is vague in its definition of offenses. Some of the penalties proposed by the law for deliberately injuring the sovereignty and national interests of Zimbabwe, such as death penalty, long imprisonment, loss of citizenship, and Binding of persons from electoral participation for five years are too harsh and inappropriate for vaguely defined offenses, he said. The provision of the death penalty means that the new law violates the constitution which only allows for the death penalty in the cases of murder and aggravating circumstances. We firmly oppose the death penalty without exceptions. We are completely against the death penalty and we condemn it and unreserved. Amnesty International said the new law is evidence that Zimbabwean authorities are bent on closing civic space as well as supplacing any form of decent. Batilutendo Matinyalale, chairman of the pro-government Zimbabwe anti-sanctions movement, has a different view. I'm over the moon because of the fact that the president is finally signed this criminal law amendment, Matinyali said, and I'm happy because I was one of the people that proposed the patriotic bill. Martinelli said his group is pleased about laws that punish people who advocate for sanctions and call for invasion of the country and stabilization of the country. It puts us in step with other nations across the world that have similar laws. Martinelli said, let's hope it deters people and unites Zimbabweans to not sabotage their own country thank you so much for watching and peace